Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and this is the organ talk about player shader and you can see it, it's look cool. You can change the color of course. So without any further ado, let's begin. <laughs> So for that, let's just create a new project of Game Maker language. Let's call it Fire SHD or Fire Shader, and we have just this room. Like most of my video, I did create a shader, an object to show you how you can have that in your project. So you should go to Marketplace. Just go to Marketplace, open Marketplace, and in Marketplace, just search for Fire 2D. So after you find it in Marketplace, just add it to your account. Click in here and know that it's added to your account. Just go to Game Maker on my library and refresh it and now we can find it in the library and you can see it here we should download it first and now we can import it what we need is just this object obg fire we don't need this room we need this shader and we need this sprite just for showing you import it and you can close this library and just add this to your project and let's make it a little bigger it's, this sprite is just for showing it's nothing so let's run it now and you can see that you can have this cool fire in your project that will be procedural not just a sprite you see that i added here but it's created from here so let's just bring it a little down and you should change the position until it's where you wherever you want so let's just bring it a little down again run it and now you can see that it's at the bottom of the window and it's look cool so there are some property in here let's again bring it up make it a little bigger run it again and you can see that whatever size you put in there it will generate normally and it's look cool and you can add it to your project we can make it small like this and now let's just run it again and you can see that you can have whatever fire you want just by adding this shader to your project so let's just change some variable in it if you double click on it in the room let's just zoom in here in variable you can change the color in here just click on this and now we can change it to something like blue and now let's just run it again and you can see it it is blue let's just make it a little bigger and you can see how cool it is and because it is shader it runs on gpu and you don't slow down your game let me talk a little bit about shaders first question is should you learn code for shader in my opinion hell no why because it's too much complicated let me show the codes for this shader i will tell you if you want to learn where you should go but first let's just check these codes there is a vertex shader that we don't do a lot in it for this shader but in it's in fragment shader that all the magic happened and uh, you see that i passed time i passed the resolution uh, and i passed the color to this shader and you can see it there are some function in here and some other function and in the main we use all of those functions to create that fire if you are game maker programmer if you are python programmer if you are c++ programmer my background is c and c++ and when i look at this it's just too complicated it's have a lot of math in it so you should be a math expert to use shaders and as a programmer that do Python, do C, do PHP, do Node.js, do JavaScript, do Game Maker language. You can write code for shader, but if you don't know about math a lot, you can't do much in it. But if you want to learn it, there is a lot of cool stuff on the internet. First of all, you should go to book up shaders to learn how shaders work. And there, there is a lot of good examples in there. But after that, when you want to create your own shader you shouldn't use game maker because you can see whenever i hit run in here it takes like um, i don't know I did like eight seconds to run your shader but there is a cool tool in internet that called shader to it so let me show you in here and in shader to whatever shader you write it will compile fast so just click on new and in here you can see that you can have this main image function that is exactly like the main function here how did i create this shader i didn't i just find it on shader toy and convert it to game maker shader you can just add this object to your project and you have this cool shader in your project let me change it to green so you can see the green as well let's run it 
you know doing shaders you can do a lot of cool stuff with shaders and it won't uh, slow down your game it won't drain the battery of player phone but for doing this kind of stuff by yourself it's uh, it's just easier to draw that sprite with two or three frame and it works fine for your game but if you find some shaders like this that i provide for you you can use it and i think uh maybe it is better to use shader because it won't uh, slow down your game on old phone shaders need a lot of math and it's just not a math you need to have that art brain to create this kind of shaders so it looks beautiful if you are a hobbyist programmer in game maker just you can learn that learn shader but if you want to just publish your game and make money um, i don't recommend to learn shader and whenever there is a shader to use use it like what i provide for you but if there is not shader for that just create your own sprite and use that and it looks fine and in most phones won't uh, slow down your game so that's it guys hope you like this video thank you very much for watching bye <laughs>